Good evening. A stunning statement from the federal government today over the release of Guy Turcot from a psychiatric hospital. 46 months after stabbing his two children 46 times, the former Quebec doctor is out and reaction across this country is overwhelmingly disillusion. Today, the government said the system failed. The Tories vow to revise the law. CTV's Montreal Bureau Chief Geneviève Beauchemin has the latest. He killed two of his children. The news unleashed a torrent of emotion. Yeah, the, the reaction is pretty, uh, pretty strong. Uh, Guy Turcotte released with conditions from the Penal Institute. Montrealers expressed outrage with the decision to free the once prominent cardiologist. And we, I mean, how can he forget that what he did to his children and try to live as a normal human being? Normal, not yet, not in the face of so much attention. It isn't clear where Tsukat spent his first day of freedom. No one has confirmed he has even left this institution. Many say simply moving on would fail the victims, three-year-old Anne-Sophie and five-year-old Olivier, stabbed by their father after their parents' marriage broke down, after Tsukat says he ingested windshield washer fluid in a suicide attempt. A jury found him not criminally responsible on account of a mental disorder in 2011. And so it was up to a mental health review board to determine his future. Those who know the process well say there are strict guidelines for that board to follow. The law is not there to punish them. The law is only there to keep them contained to the degree necessary to prevent them causing harm to anyone else. But the federal government wants things to change. Isabel Gaston deserves better than this. The system has failed her. It plans to tighten the rules for release for those found not criminally responsible. Just how isn't clear yet. The children's mother is urging those angry with Turcotte's release to push for even more changes. Just write to the Prime Minister, to your uh, deputy, and, and tell that you're mad. Tsukat still faces an appeal likely to be heard in February. He also has to comply with certain conditions, including not communicating with his ex-wife or her family. Lisa. Okay, Geneviève Beauchemin again tonight in Montreal.